Okay, let me turn off my heating because I'm getting mad hot, hence why I'm wearing no top right now. But this Instagram live is it's me explaining, because everyone's been asking, you know, Coyote, why don't you follow anyone on Instagram? You know, I made that post a few days ago about me ranting about me having lost followers and people saying, well, you lost, people say to me, oh, you don't follow anyone, so maybe that's why. But anyway, despite the myth, this is me being very clear and open exactly why I don't follow anybody on Instagram. Right, and by the way, do y'all like my hair? Like, I've got this comb today. Like, you know, I'm, I'm excited, man. Like, I can get to do my hair, man. But anyway, so the reason why I choose not to follow anyone on Instagram is because following people on Instagram for me was doing me no favours. In fact, let's dispel some myths, actually. The first myth I want to dispel is that, no, I don't choose to not follow on Instagram because of image thing. Like, people think, oh, you're on an image thing. You want people to think that you've got loads of followers, but you're not following anyone. Let's knock that out. No, I'm not not... I am not not following anyone on Instagram because of the image thing. Like, image, if you if you think that about me, it goes to show that you really don't know me. Like, I don't care about image. Like, look at my head. Yo, look at me right now. I'm, I don't care for image like that. So if you think I'm doing it for image thing, it goes to show how much you really, really know me. So that's the first myth I want to dispel. And the second myth I want to dispel is that some people think that I only chose to not follow anyone on Instagram because of The Apprentice. So because I was on, because I was on national TV in front of millions of viewers, people thought that, oh, he's not following anyone on Instagram because he's on The Apprentice. Again, that's not true either because I was I followed people way before I was on The Apprentice, back when I had like 1,000 followers. So it's not because of The Apprentice. So are we clear on that? So the first myth to dispel is that no, I'm not in, on the image team because I really don't care for image. And the second thing is not because I was on The Apprentice. Cool, we happy with that. So the reason then I decided to unfollow everyone on Instagram is because like I mentioned before, Instagram was doing me no favors. It was doing me no favors in terms of my own mindset, in terms of my own m m mental health, in terms of my own well-being. It was not helping me whatsoever. And I'm very much aware that if everybody had my mindset to follow everyone off Instagram, that these platforms would cease to exist. You know, I'm very much aware that these platforms are dependent on people following each other. So if everybody took my approach and these platforms would cease to exist, that's fair enough. But for me personally, as an individual, as Coyote Tamali, I took that stance to unfollow people because it wasn't doing anything for my well-being and wasn't doing anything for mental health. In, in fact, there was four different types of people who I chose to follow on Instagram. The first types of people I chose to follow on Instagram were girls. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about girls who I have no chance of getting with. I'm talking about celebrities, models. I'm just boosting their ego and liking their photos. But for what? Like, what am I following these hot girls for? They don't even know who I am. They're not doing me any favours. I'm just there fantasising over them. So I didn't need to do that. The second type of people I chose to follow was mandem and people and guys who had lifestyles that I wanted. You know, whether it was money, whether it's a lifestyle. But for me, being on Instagram, following their lifestyle was making me feel crappy about my own lifestyle. So why would I do that? Why would I, Why am I going to continue to follow guys' lifestyles just to feel crappy about mine? So that's the second type of people I followed. The third type of people I followed on Instagram was, you know, your motivation and inspiration kind of pages. You know, whether that's for motivation for life or whether that's motivation even for food recipes and stuff. Do you get what I mean? But then I realised that I don't need that motivation. I, like, you guys know me. I don't need the external motivation like that. I'm already, I'm already high on life. Do you know what I mean? I've, I get a pump anyway. So I don't need to follow motivation, inspiration pages for that. So I could knock that one off. And then the last type of people who I tend to follow would be like friends and family and people who I know. But then for me, Instagram isn't the platform that I want to use to follow my friends and family for. Because Instagram, you need to remember, Instagram is literally just the highlights. It's a square photo. And I don't need to follow my friends and family on that platform just seeing their highlights. For me personally, I prefer to more... In and, and, and on Instagram, you don't really engage with them like that either. So for me personally, when it comes to my friends, family and stuff like that, the platform I prefer to connect with them is Facebook. Because on Facebook, we can interact more, we can share each other's stuff more, we can chat more. Instagram for me is not the platform that I want to do that on. So they're the four, thing, they're the four types of pages I decided I have to unfollow. Like I said, I'm very much aware that if everyone had my mindset that these platforms would cease to exist. But I saw a statistic earlier last week and it said that the average person on Facebook, remember Facebook owns Instagram, so you can kind of pull it over to that one as well. But they say that the average person on Facebook scrolls just, oh, just under 300 feet 
with their thumb every day. 300 feet scrolling. Just to put that in perspective for you, the average person scrolling as much as the Statue of Liberty in New York City on Facebook scrolling. So the Statue of Liberty is like 100 meters, so they're about 90 meters, about 300 feet. That's how much you're scrolling every single day on Facebook. And on Instagram, it's probably worse because Instagram, you're more likely to scroll more than that because that's all you can do is scroll. So I don't, I didn't want to be like that. I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm scrolling the length for the Statue of Liberty, looking at other people's lifestyles. That's not what I need these platforms for. That's not what I need. Because some people say to me, Coyote, I bet your Instagram's boring. I'm like, exactly, it is boring. That's exactly how I want it to be. Because I don't want to be distracted scrolling the length for the strap of liberty every single day. I mean, you know what it's like? As soon as you wake up, before your feet even touch the floor, you're scrolling on Instagram, you're following on Facebook. I didn't want to make that a part of my life. I hope that's making sense. So yes, my Instagram's boring. Yes, it's just me, but that's what I want. Because I'm not scrolling on Instagram. Instagram's not a distraction in my life, how it is for some other people. Instagram for me, it's like, imagine every single day, right? You're trying to leave your house, you're going upstairs, from upstairs, downstairs, through your passage to go out the front door. That's your aim to go out the front door. But Instagram is like your TVs on the right is on 24 seven, go through different programs. So if every single time you're trying to leave the house, but you're getting distracted from what's on the TV, you're never gonna get out the front door because the TV's always on with different kind of programs. That is the analogy I like to use for social media. So for me, I just go straight upstairs, go downstairs, through the passage, straight out the door because I don't have Instagram disturbing me. But if other people, they try to go from their bedroom upstairs, downstairs, through the passage, through the front door, but they're getting distracted by the TV, which is on 24 seven, i.e. being their Instagram. So I didn't want to make that a part of my life. That in, I want to eliminate that completely. And I think to, to be, uh, now for me to be very, very open and honest, I think one of the biggest reasons I decided to unfollow everybody off Instagram is because to be honest, mate, I'm a bit of a coward. I'm a little bit of a coward. The reason I say that is because I don't like the bureaucracy around Instagram and following people. In a sense that I don't like the sort of like unwritten rules or the unwritten codes in terms of following on social media. I mean, I don't want to necessarily follow someone just because they followed me back. I don't want to do that. But I know some people feel this type of way. It's like, oh my God, if they follow me, I've got to follow them back. Or vice versa, if they unfollow me, i got then got to feel to unfollow them back. I don't want to be part of that, these little, you know, people know what it's like. Or people say, oh, I've got to make sure my, my, my ratio for, for followers to following is right. Yeah, I don't want to be part of that bureaucracy. I don't want to be part of a bureaucracy whereby I'm following someone because I know them for years, but then get bored of their content. But it's like, oh my God, I can't unfollow them because I seem like a bad guy. So I didn't really want to be part of that bureaucracy. So I took the coward's way out and thought, you know what, I'm just not going to follow anyone, period. I don't want to be part of that bureaucracy. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, subconsciously, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I guarantee right now, there's some people you're following on your Instagram just because they follow you back and you're scared to unfollow them because you don't want to seem like a bad person. I know that's exactly what a lot of people are going through. So for me, I want to eliminate that completely. I hope people are beginning to understand exactly why I choose not to follow anybody on Instagram. And so one another point I want to add, someone said you follow people, see what they're up to. But for me, I can do that anyway. If I care about trying to see what someone's up to that much, I'll just go to the bar and type their name if I really want to see what they're up to. So that's my answer to that question that someone has asked me to. I don't necessarily need to follow someone for that. I just have to search, see what they're up to, click the name and that's it. Done. Simply.